You want the freedom to live life in a way that fulfills you. You want to create the life of your dreams. You want to experience the world in its fullness, whether fortunately or unfortunately, to create that freedom, you need money. Money is the asset that gives you the ability to either buy back your time, change locations, learn new skills, be around influential people, buy your way into certain networks and access new opportunities. Now, this is something that I realized early on, but because I didn't start with money from my family, I had to find a way to access money. By far, the easiest way to access money, and I believe this 110% with my entire heart, if you're starting with less than 10K in the bank, is to sell something that costs $5,000 or more for someone who is offering it to a lot of people, which is sales, specifically high ticket sales. And that's why you've seen this new push online about high ticket closing, high ticket sales. What is this thing? Now in sales, what you're doing is inserting yourself directly into the flow of money. And I did this. And at one point in this journey, I sold over $800,000 in six months. And this money gave me the access to invest in myself. It gave me the access to engage in new opportunities. The problem with most people is that they're looking at the game of money pass them by. It's like they're watching their piece on the Monopoly board, but they're refusing to roll the dice. And this is an issue, and I don't want you to experience this. If you put the numbers into perspective, selling $800,000, because I want to tell you exactly what happened and exactly what it looked like, I collected about 60% of that in cash upfront, to be transparent, from the companies that I was selling for. And I was paid roughly 10% of that cash plus bonuses. This cash flow gave me the freedom to spend more time on YouTube and working with people in my network to help them build their businesses because I had money coming in because I was accessing the direct cash flow for these business owners that I was selling for. It gave me the opportunity to focus less just on doing the work and to create more leverage to get paid even more and to access better opportunities. The first thing that I did to sell more was get good at selling. And this is the reality. There's no fancy trick. There's no fancy hack. The first thing that I did to sell more was I got good at selling. People tend to overrate the grind and underrate being really fucking good. And by really fucking good, what I mean is where you can close deals at 30 to 40% and your skill level is enough where you can bring in 10,000, 15,000, $20,000 or more per month in sales. Now, effort should always be focused. You always want your effort to be focused and you want your effort to be at a max. So absolutely lots of effort, but having lots of effort combined with the weak skill set will get you nowhere fast. What I did is I got really good at selling by obsessing over a process. And this process I put together after investing in tens of thousands of dollars of mentorship and coaching specifically from four different sales mentors over about the past four years. Now, What's great about closing for like 10% of closers, honestly, most people will never experience this, is that if your skill set is good, you can make a lot of money. That's the truth. The other side of this is that if your skill set isn't great, you will be stuck at $5,000 or less, probably not even $5,000. You'll be stuck there for months and you will not get past that and you'll give up and you'll go work a nine to five job that you hate. This is the truth of what happens to most people who try to get into high ticket sales, who try to become a closer. They don't actually make money. So everyone's saying you just make money. That happens mostly with people in the top 10, 15%. Everyone else is pretty much stuck at three to $5,000 and they either give up or they just stay there because they're comfortable. If you want to get good, and this is how I got good. The first thing you can do is find the best coach that you can. And this doesn't mean you have to pay for a coach, by the way, because if you don't have any funds to invest in yourself, you can do this for free. Join their free or their paid program. Watch as much from this coach as you can on YouTube. Look at them on Instagram. Join their free community. Role play in that community if it's possible, if they have role plays happening. And watch your calls every single week. You take notes on your calls. You study your calls. This is what I did, by the way. I also invested in paid training too because I was blessed enough to be able to afford that. But if you can't afford that, join a free community or the paid version of that coaching. But it needs to be someone good. By the way, in our community quantum level, which is down below, it's completely free to join. We do this. You can role play with me. You can practice your sales skills with me. You can practice handling objection, practice leadership, all of these things. Down below, the link is there. It's free to join. I require nothing of you but your time. And this is the problem I see in the industry. A lot of people have a good sales process and these nice witty scripts, they focus on tonality and these levels of client avatars and buyers and all that. The problem is that a script will not actually make you money. There are two things that will make you a lot of money in sales. Number 
number one is understanding the game of communication, leadership, and the psychology of selling because you must be a leader on calls. In order for someone to say, yes, I'm going to pay $10,000 or $20,000 right now on this call because I trust you and I believe in what you're presenting me. In order for that to happen, you must unapologetically be a leader to that person where they want to invest in the energy, in the information, in the leadership that you're giving them and that you're showing up with. So in order to sell, you have to be a leader. All of the scripts are important. All the protocols are important. I give these away inside of our community, by the way, all the scripts all the processes. I literally have a collection of videos, a course, giving it to you for free. You don't need to pay anything. But what people don't understand and what a lot of people getting into sales don't get, and this is what I did very, very well, is I understood the fundamental psychology behind leadership and the psychology of selling. And I applied this to the process that I learned. I religiously practiced it and I got very, very good reviewing my own calls, watching them, taking notes on my calls, looking at my mentors calls, going in and role playing with people that were in the programs that I was in. And after I do this, I begin to see my results go from like a flat line being stuck at like two three thousand dollars a month getting paid from sales to jumping up to hitting 10 to 15k and more consistently now the other part of this the second thing that's going to make you a lot of money in sales is being fearless fearlessness to apply all these principles at a very high level and you need to be fearless in sales because what's going to happen is you're going to talk to prospects on calls that are going to challenge you you're going to talk to people on calls if you run a business or if you do sales now you understand what i'm talking about you'll talk to people that are just going to give you the responses that you don't want to hear they're going to talk to people that are going to play a hardball you're going to talk to people who are going to come on the call and make it sound like they have no problem at all this is why you have to be fearless because fear is the thing that's gonna prevent you from staying in the pocket, in the sweet spot, and having a tough conversation with the prospect that leads to them buying. Fear is the thing that's gonna stop you from doing that. And the way you make money, and I'm talking about making an extra five to $10,000 per month, the way you do that is by being fearless and leading the prospect through a conversation, not being afraid of those difficult conversations in those difficult moments, the moments where there's tension, but sticking in those moments and leading them through. This is the biggest thing. The other reason I was able to do so well in sales and the other reason I got my sales skill to a very high level, made a bunch of money, was able to create a life that I want is because I was extremely consistent. And it goes back to this principle that I talked about in my last video of delicious, delicious boredom. When I sell the conversations, the frameworks, the protocols that I follow, are all pretty much the same. They're not different. I'm not customizing wildly and changing my persona for each person. It's repetition. Sales is similar to going to the gym in that over time you progress and you get just a little bit better every time, but it may not be noticeable on each call or in the gym on each lift. Over time, over six months, you look at before and after and you're like, wow, I'm in a different place. Wow, I have so much more income talking about sales. But the journey to doing that exists in the boredom. It's kind of boring and it doesn't always need to be boring. I personally have a lot of fun in the boredom of having these conversations, both with guys that I role play with, mentors of mine, coaches of mine, people that I work with, or on the calls themselves when I'm selling prospects. I enjoy the up and down. I enjoy the low moments where I'm frustrated because I didn't close a call that I thought I could have closed. I enjoy the moments where someone says, cool, I'm gonna pay 20K right now, let's close the deal, it's done, I'm investing, let's go, and I get paid commission and bonuses because of that. I, I enjoy all of that, but it exists in the boredom because it's the repetition that is going to lead to you making the income you want and having the freedom that you want. Boredom and repetition, there's nothing wrong with boredom and repetition. It's supposed to be boring, it's the journey. So if you're looking for a lot of stimulation in your journey of making money, then the truth is you're looking for the wrong thing. Right now, as an example, in me building Quantum Level, which is our free community, link is down below, I'm purposefully sinking into a space of delicious, sweet boredom because the vision that I have for quantum level is to help as many men as possible get to 15K plus every single month within 2024. That's my goal. That's where I want to be at. So this consistency, repeating the same protocols over and over and over until it became mental memory. I won't call it muscle memory, but I'll call it mental memory where my brain understood and 
acclimated to this new way of communicating, this new way of leading on calls, this consistency, this repetition helped me close at a way higher level and consistently helped me hit a rate of 30 to 35% of calls closed on offer where the marketing is not even perfect, where the marketing is, is not bad. There's calls. People understand that they're there to make a change, but the marketing could even be better, right? So if you look at the other closers who were in this offer that I work on right now, before I got in, they were closing 16 to 20%, give or take. And if you look at the numbers that they had month over month, but I'm closing 30, 35%. The reason is because I understand the protocols and the system so well, and it's so natural to me because of the boredom, right? I stuck in the boredom. Then after this consistency, yeah, I'm still consistent, but in the process of this consistency, it allowed me to sell higher priced ticket items for friends of mine, for their business, consulting on their businesses, and in the offer I'm in now, just increasing the price of what I was selling because the principles became so natural to me, it was a state of being. In addition, handling objections also became second nature. So when I have a prospect who's like, this sounds amazing, but I really just wanna think about it, my immediate response, yeah, that's not a problem. I'm just curious before you go and think about it, do you feel like this can help you to make the changes you're looking for so you can have everything that you want in dating and really attract the most amazing partner? Or how do you feel? It's just second nature to me. It's like the just talking, right? It's second nature. It's like asking someone, how's your day going? And the reason it became second nature, the reason this process became so ingrained in me is because of the repetition. Now, after the repetition, after mastering the skill set, getting good, I gained leverage. And if you know my stuff, if you watch my videos, you know that I always talk about leverage because it's one of the biggest things. I used my skill set to one, get paid more from the company that I was working with and I still work with them. I used my skill set to get paid more because the value I was bringing to the table was higher. And number two, consult for people in my network, which is helping people that I know that I'm close to who are building businesses in the six and seven figures, help them build their sales process and their sales strategies. This doubled the opportunities that I had to sell and make money from my sales skill set. So I didn't want to just position myself as I'm Mr. Closer. And if you're in the sales space right now and you've been in it for a while and you've just been closing and sticking between that mark of 3K, maybe 5K, the reason why this is happening to you is you don't have leverage. You don't have a lot of leverage. One, because your skill set's not good enough. That's just the truth. You, your skill set needs to be better. Number two is the consistency showing up where sales becomes like actually breathing to you and you understand the right frameworks, the right protocols to handle objections, to lead prospects. That's going to get you good. That's going to get you paid. And then leverage, gaining leverage. The game of freedom at the end of the day, and this goes beyond sales, the game of freedom comes down to leverage, which is leapfrogging your way to the top. This only starts when your skill set sets you apart from almost everyone else. When your skill set is better than everyone else who's competing for what you want to have, that's the leverage. You have better opportunities. You can begin to make content about sales. You can begin to role play with people who want to learn from you and show up and kill it every single time when you're training a team or when you're training people who are looking to you for guidance because your skill set's so good, it just becomes natural and it's just you. This is the game. And then you consistently do that over and over. Your leverage builds, you get better opportunities. You go beyond just being the closer to becoming the consultant and you make all the money in the world and give yourself all the freedom that you want. In quantum level right now, there are 400 men who are building the skill set. That's the facts. There are 400 men right now who are building the skill set in quantum level and getting 1% better than you if you're not in every single day. So if you want to work on the skill set, if you've been trying to break past your, your barriers, the things that have been holding you back in your business when it comes to sales or in your sales journey, as a closer or try, or as a setter trying to become a closer, make money 10, 15 K plus per month and give yourself and your family the freedom that they deserve, that you deserve. Give yourself the future you want. Come on in. If you want to work on your skill set, I require nothing of you, but your time, because right now your time is the best asset that you have. Quantum levels free. The link is down below. I will see you there. Let's continue rocking and rolling and growing. This is the journey that I'm on. This is the journey that I've been on. This is the journey that I have that I have been able to partake in and I'm so grateful every day and it continues, it continues, it continues. I will see you in quantum level. Let's keep growing, let's keep building. See you on the next one.